Hey, it's Deborah from Create with Compassion. I am a Fun Stampers Journey Independent Coach here today to share with you the card I created for the Facebook group Journey Sketches, sketch number two that was created by Janice Whiting. This is the card I made and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's create with compassion. So here's a closer look at my card for the second sketch over at the Facebook group Journey Sketches. This sketch here was um, created by Janice Whiting. So let's go ahead and begin the creation of this card. I'm going to start with a piece of black licorice that is 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. I've got the happy birthday sentiment from our Kathy AT set. And I'm going to be using whipped cream true color fusion pigment ink. I'm just going to ink up the birthday sentiment. This is well indexed, so it's easy for me to know where I'm getting ink. I'm just going to get that inked up nice and juicy. If I have any ink where I don't want it, I'm just going to wipe that off. And I'm going to put the birthday down at the bottom left there. And then I'm going to put some white embossing powder on that. Not too worried about any of the embossing powder sticking to my card because that's going to give it more of that splattered look, which is what I'm looking for. And then I'm just going to clean that off real quick and dry it well because I don't want any smudges or anything. And I'm going to ink up that happy part of the stamp with the whipped cream ink. Got just a little smudge there on my B. Get rid of that. Make sure it's dry. And I'm going to put the happy centered above birthday and put some more white embossing powder on that. If you have some stray powder, you can just use a brush and get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the three little round stylus tips from the Journey Bloom Tool and my whipped cream pigment ink. And I'm going to do some fun splatters type. So I'm just going to press that tip into the ink and kind of roll it around. And I'm going to do that randomly. I've got three different stylus tips, so that'll give me three different sizes. My balloons are in the upper right corner, so don't have to worry too much about that. I am going to keep my hand away from that birthday sentiment because it has not been heat embossed yet. Put some smaller splotches. Just going to kind of do this randomly all around. I think that looks good. You can just wipe those off with a baby wipe to clean them. And I'm going to put embossing powder all over those little ink splotches. Get rid of the extra powder. You can come in and use your brush to get rid of some of that extra powder. It's okay to have some of it left because, like I said, it leads to the splattered effect. And then you would use your heat gun to heat emboss that, which I have already done here. And this panel is on a whipped cream piece of cardstock that is three and three fourths by five. And I'll just go ahead and bring in my card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth. I've got the same size whipped cream panel on the inside. And I've got foam squares on the back of this. So we'll just center that there and it'll give it a little bit of dimension. If you don't want to put a whipped cream panel on the inside, you can leave it black and use the gel pens, just right gel pens or any gel pen because the um, 
those gel pens really show up well on the black licorice cardstock so you don't have to put the whipped cream piece on the inside there now we're going to go ahead and work on our balloons i'm going to use the tag this cartridge of the fun stampers journey punch system it is really easy to use and it's going to give me three different shapes so i've just got some scraps i'm going to put that in punch it and i'll have my three balloons so I used watermelon fusion, grape fusion, and some beach breeze. With this you get three different shapes so you can use it in different combinations for three different cards. Or if you just want to do one, just have a smaller piece of paper and slide that in. You can see, I'm not sure if you can, when the paper covers that hole there, you can kind of see it. So you have an idea that the paper is in the right place to punch that out. and get only one balloon so you can either have sets of three or just get the shape that you need and then what I did was using that same whipped cream ink and the smallest stylus with my little hole at the bottom I wanted my balloon to have a slight three-dimensional look so I just put some whipped cream ink to kind of give it that little uh, can't think of what that's called and it works better to just kind of twist the little stylus there and then you definitely want to heat set that with your heat gun so that it does not smear because the pigment ink takes longer to dry so I've got a few of those already ready we're going to use the fun stampers journey whipped cream thread just cut a piece off hold the tip and then just twist it towards the right and you'll see that it will unravel into three separate pieces and that's what we'll use to tie strings onto our balloons so I've got two balloons already tied and I need a purple round one so we'll just quickly tie just a simple simple tie there simple knot onto that balloon and trim it and then we'll use a glue dot to adhere the balloons to the card base for the sketch it had kind of a rectangular shape in the middle so I'm just gonna Put my rectangular balloon there and then the circle was kind of up and off to the right so we'll just put that there and then the oval shape was on the left put him there and then since you can easily get three cards out of this you can cut a piece of string and separate that into thirds again and use that to tie a bow on your card so I'm just gonna kind of do it down here just slightly above the happy birthday I think kind of tighten these strings a little bit just do a little bow and trim your strings there and for the bow I took half a glue dot folded it up into a little bit of ball and stuck that to the back side of my knot and pressed that down there to keep that in place and then just trim your strings and that is a very quick and easy birthday card ready to go easy to mass produce Thank you so much for joining me today.